Okay. Uh, yes, and thanks for joining us here at the Barnsley Chronicle, where, as ever, I'm joined by our sports editor, Doug O'Gain. We're going to preview Barnsley's match against Portsmouth uh, on Tuesday evening. So, Doug, um, a point of the weekend. Do you think that's considered a good one or, uh, or a missed opportunity? Well, it continues a good run, doesn't it? I think they're unbeaten in, I think, eight, eight games now. Um you know, I think the players were a bit frustrated. They didn't, they didn't get a win, and with the referee decisions as well. But um, it continues on a point away from home and a clean sheet. It's always a, always a positive. Of course, they want to win every game at the moment, and they're probably favourites to do so. But they've admitted their best, and hopefully, go again and, and be a bit better uh, tomorrow night. Yeah, I suppose the problem is I know the teams in the playoffs also picked up a point, but the, the top three have been setting a relentless pace all season and. Uh, a draw is often not enough to keep pace with them, is it? Yeah, that's probably true. Um, I think Barnsley will just think, just just keep going. Um, you know, uh, like they have got games in hand. Um, if it's one draw in the context of a long unbeaten run where they're winning the majority of the games, then it's probably not too much damage. Um, you know, the top two is obviously something great to, to look at. It, it's uh, it's going to be a real tall order, but they probably will have to win the majority of these games coming up against a lot of the teams around them in the next sort of two or three weeks. And if, if they do that and come into April still sort of in contention, then... Um, you know, with it within touching distance, and then they're they're in they're in with a with a chance because funny things can happen in the last few uh, weeks of the season, and you know who knows what the the pressure will be like on on teams up there. But I think at the moment, it's just a case of you know don't let that one disappointing, slightly disappointing result and performance become become a theme. Yeah, and uh, of course in this league, there's always a, a quick opportunity to to put uh, an okay result behind you, and uh, Portsmouth is that opportunity on on Tuesday night. Yeah, back at home. Obviously, the last home game was a brilliant win over Derby. Um, yeah, attendance, I'm sure, won't be quite as big, especially at the away end. Um, but hopefully, they can sort of have a similar atmosphere or at least to an extent, similar backing as, as they did in, the, in that last match. I'd imagine everyone who went to that game, I don't see why they wouldn't want to come back to the, to the next one or you couldn't, couldn't really ask for much more. So hopefully, they'll they'll get a good backing. They, they certainly deserve it and the fans seem to be behind them. So, yeah, tough game. Portsmouth are in great form. I think they've conceded one in five and won four of them. So, And they're, the t- they're a team that I think most people, including me, would have expected to be right up there where Barnsley are. Um, rather than 10th, uh, quite a few points off the playoffs. But obviously, they had a bad run under, under the previous manager. They seem to be putting it all together now. So, it's a really tough match. Yeah, uh, definitely. And um, you obviously mentioned the games in Ando. Um they, they are, they are, that's all they are. This time. I know people always often say, oh, well, Barnes, we've got so many games in hand. They only count if you, if you pick up results uh, in those games in hand. And, I suppose the workload on the players is going to be quite testing as we get into the tail end of the season. Yeah, but they have strengthened the squad quite a lot recently. Um, they, they brought in players in January and they've got players coming back from injury. Uh, Robbie Cundy's back in training today. Josh Benson was back on on the on the bench on Saturday and came on. So they're, in all areas, really, they've got some some more depth than they have. So it should help them uh, negotiate that grueling run. Although... Um, Michael Duff's been saying today in the pre-match press conference that the, the new signings are going to just take a, a while to to get used to his style and that still is the case. He's not just going to throw them in. They, they just need a little bit longer. But yeah, they've got a lot more options than they had, so that, that should help. Obviously, games at hand, you know, the, the cliche is you'd rather have the points on the board. I guess it's supposed to, it depends if you win them or not. But, um, you know, there's a few Tuesday night games where Barnsley play and the others don't, so it's a chance to catch up and um, you know, hopefully they could take advantage of that. Yeah, do you think this game is an opportunity for, for, for Duff to change his squad around a little bit and perhaps make some changes or, or do you think Portsmouth is too stiff a test to do that? I think they're in a good way at the moment. They've got 11. I, I can't see many changes. Luke O'Connell um, is hopefully back from illness. It depends how he shapes up in training today and tomorrow. So he could replace John Russell. But I think at the moment, it just seems like that first 11 is pretty settled to me. And um, unless someone was, you know, really tired uh, or, you know, they could they could tell in the from the sports scientists and the workload in training that they could probably do with a rest or they've got a little niggle or for whatever reason, they just think it's best to drop him. I think this, this current first 11 is probably, at the moment, I know things can change, it's probably... Uh, know what they'll stick with from now on 
And don't forget to join us later on this week where we'll be looking ahead to Barnsley's weekend match as well. <laughs>